So from heat pumps to solar PV systems. I'm now with the solar PV team as we are installing a flat roof mount system on a brand new build in West Sussex. Now, it's, we can't be the only installers that come across so many different roofs and so many different projects where, you know, you're not quite perfect in terms of orientation, inclination, shading factors, etc., etc. But in this case, we are almost perfect. We've got a due south facing roof. We've got not really anything in the way for shading factor. Yes, there are trees around, but actually when the, when the sun is up, uh, in it on its point and um, there's barely anything that shades this area whatsoever um, it's a flat roof so we've got plenty of space in order to um, put in the system that we want to install so we've got 12 panels initially in the first instance um, with scope that we are going to leave some area free that we could add on to a little bit later on this is a new build project, there's lots and lots going on. There's MVHR, underfloor heating, air conditioning, air source heat pump, and obviously solar PV. So, you know, it comes down to thinking about, you know, the budget for the, for the client as well. Now we've put in, well, we are going to put in 400 watt panels, 12 of. So we're gonna have a 4.8 kilowatt peak of uh, generation. And with a, with a small battery storage system in place in the initial stages, where again, we can add more and more batteries to it. So it's all stackable. So we've got the Van der Volk flat roof mount kit. Um, we're gonna have four panels going across, two rows of, so that'll be eight. And then there'll be a couple of patches where, or a couple of areas where we'll have twos and twos and obviously make up that 12. So we'll show you how things go along on this installation, but super exciting. This is a, a brilliant project for us to be working on. So again, we've got our system in place here. So we'll have our panel coming up to this front edge, this front bracket, perfectly distanced out for the panel to sit and obviously just overhang slightly on this point. We'll have a 10 degree angle. We've got, this is how our uh, weight supports across here. Not only will they keep everything in line, but they'll also take the weight of these tiles. These tiles are actually nine kilograms each. You can get thicker ones, bigger ones, etc. But we've had this all calculated and measured out so that we get the right amount of um, of these tiles available on this system to obviously, you know, protect it from any adverse weather conditions such as high winds, etc., etc. These rubber feet, again, you know, they're there just to protect this and stop any of these metal rails, etc., from touching the surface and moving with uh, with weather conditions, heating up, cooling down, etc., to avoid any damage to this roof as well. And then we're going to come across here, and you know, we're just basically calculating, get everything laid out, so you know how this is going to best sit on on this roof. We will have a couple of points here for extraction. These extraction points here for the MVHR system, which will be cut down and put lower to the seat, uh, to the roof, to the top of the roof line. But as you can see, the sun is lovely up in there at the moment and will give plenty of sunshine on this roof area. I wash them before every week. All right, Tom, so we're going from the inverter. We've got our panels laid out in a drawing because we need to work out how we're going to put our string together. And obviously we need to avoid an induction loop as we put our uh, link our panels, correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. So whereas it probably would be easiest for us to come down here, pick up as many panels as possible and usually come back in a loop, obviously to avoid induction loops and 
the event of lightning strike, um, we would make it so they kind of come they're as close together as the cables running. So, for instance, we've got our inverter, we've got our isolator. All of our panels are connected in series. That means it's going to go from positive, it's going to run to the negative of the next panel. Yeah. So, so on and so forth. Exactly. So, out of our isolator, a positive that would then connect to the negative terminal, which is um, on so a female connector yeah. um, on the panel. Exactly. So, coming out of here, we would then obviously join to the negative. And then I think our best loop, we discussed it, is to come down here. And although it is quite a lot of cable, it avoids that um, creating a loop on the roof. So these ones here, obviously it's only quite a short cable that you get with the panels themselves. Yeah. So it's going to be a case here of actually making up a new new connection with the MC4 connectors with a male on one end and a female on the right other. And send it right down exactly so then we're going to come down so this is our 12th panel down here and then it is going to be our connection all the way back it's actually going to run this way let's try and keep it as close as possible up here and actually something i've forgotten to draw in is we've got our little junction box up yeah, here so because we're running it through the property we've got armored cable which is going to run all the way down to where the inverter and batteries would sit correct Correct. So this is going to go, actually it's just here. Yeah, so we've got a whisker box come up. This is uh, SWA, so that's going to go, because it's going through the building, we need to protect that. It's going to be DC voltage, there's going to be no earth to it at all. So we've got to make sure that it's safe for anyone indoors. So if anyone accidentally puts a screw through it or cuts through it, they can't because this is completely protected. Um, and then that goes back down to the inverter. So this is actually our... Yeah, we've got some of our DC cables made up already. So this is the one which is going to return back. So this goes to our far panel, which will be over there. Our panel. Yeah. This is going to return all the way back to, down to the isolator. And this is going to join onto our first one. So our first panel being... You've already put the MC4 here. link on there, yeah, right? Yeah, so this is, this is a negative connection. And that will connect into the positive of the panel. Right, Barry, so we're going to put an MC4 connector on. We've got cable. Correct. PV1 4 mil cable. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that again so you can see that. So, literally, just strip. You don't need to strip a lot to go into the crimp. Double insulated, 4 mil. And then, take your crimp. Pin. Crimp lug, yeah, pin, yeah. Which is a female in this case. In the crimpers, special crimpers, four mil hole, and then you want to get it just started, so it's just buying, but not all the way. Yeah. And then take your strip cable, put it in, so the insulation goes tight to the crimp, and then just get it to buy it like that, and then all the way until it clicks. And then you're done. Just go and move with a right. test. MC4 connector, positive. Slide straight in and then you do a nice little click. And then that won't come out. And then you should doing up your, your gland. Keeps it watertight. Just give it finger tight and then a special crimp spanner tool. I'll go over, just give it a few quarter turns. There we go. Test. Good then. You're ready to go. So, as I was saying before, this looks like a male, but it's actually female because the pin inside is bigger than the other pin, which obviously inserts inside that. And the outer, sort of like, where is the uh, female one? There you go. That is a female. Uh, sorry, looks like it's a female on an outside connector, but internally, the pin is the male and that will go into the other thing that we've just put on and they interlink job for good
And there we have it, 12 400 watt Canadian solar, all blacks, install, flat roof mount, ready to go. All our connections done up here on the DC side, which we've taken back to that whisker box that we spoke about earlier, which we've just sighted underneath this final panel here. Goes in to the house in this SWA, down to where the inverter's gonna go. And then we'll do the connections on the electrical side. Again, we're on a new build, so this is phase one done. Phase two will be when we get all the electrical connections and stuff done, but there's a lot to do internally. There's a lot of, um, all the installations got to be done, the plasterboard in, the screed and the floors, the windows, the doors, etc., etc. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button too.